There is a podcast no one asked for. A podcast you never knew you didn't want. Three beers in. This is the podcast. I anticipate a deeply religious experience. Hello, listener. This is Ross, and tonight we have a full podcast. We have Clint. Hello. Tony. Hey. Cutter. Yo. And as always, Joel. We have a special show tonight. Instead of our normal review, we'll be pairing some local beers with local macarons. And we have a special guest tonight, owner and loan baker at Maison de Macron, Sarah. Hi. Sarah, would you like to introduce yourself or sure. talk about <laughs> No, I'm good. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm, I'm you here just... just... Beer. <laughs> so is your store actually in Colleen or... By store, do you mean my home? Okay. Yes. It, well, it's Oh, in- so the Maison means house. Oh, oh yeah. So, okay. yep, I'm in Harker Heights. I was going to ask if it was Harker Heights. Yeah, but I service anywhere from Waco to Austin. Weddings, baby showers, just because you want some french cookies i'll bake them up for you so we just came from germany and we were pretty close to paris so i always jumped on the train and went there whenever i could and i was there for a long weekend with a girlfriend and i decided to learn how to make them so yeah which ones are your favorite is it angeline's or uh oh yeah Good name drop. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> hey, those are, if you're going to go for the best, yeah. you don't sit in the line in the other place. Right, but right. Angeline's was just Gina's. walk right in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm out of the loop on this. What are you talking about? French cookies. So when you're in Paris. Local bakeries. In and Paris. you like kind of leave. I'm trying to, I don't know what that street is. Like It, it doesn't matter. I don't know. <laughs> it's towards the Louvre. Yes. You'll see all of these lines mm-hmm. and you're like, I wonder what that line is about. And it's for Macron's. Mm-hmm. So you're like, I would like to get into this line. One of the tourist things they don't tell you is that on some of the places, there's the line to actually sit down. But mm-hmm. if you want to, you can just go Yes. In there and just buy the yeah. leave. Yeah. You just it's go right door. around everybody. Yeah. And you just yeah. get in and get out. You're telling me people wait in line for cookies. Yeah. Oh. They wait in line to sit down. An impressively yeah. long That's line. True. Yeah. So there's a little like arcade, like a covered. Ooh, you get, place. You get arcade. Well, not like arcade, <laughs> but I guess that's what they call it, where you're not getting rained on fully, but you literally go around to that next door yep. and walk. Important yeah. question is it raining cookies? Uh, inside, I have some pictures. These are pornographic. Boner Jams 03. They're so nice. There's so many Macron's. Yes. There. But is it raining cookies? <laughs> you could make it. It would be very expensive rain. <laughs> yeah, it would be. I'm living in the wrong area and mm-hmm. it's raining cookies. Somewhere. Yeah. Well, in the place that I'm talking about, they had some amazing hot chocolate. Yes. They paired with it. And yes. it was literally melted chocolate. Yeah. Like not this powder and mm-hmm. water. I don't know if there was water in it. Yeah, it's just like drinking hot melted chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of pairings. Yeah, yeah. sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little excited about the cookies. <laughs> so what, what do we got here first? So okay. with the Rattler, I made a pineapple, lemon, and ginger. Nice. It's kind of summery and yeah. So help yourself. Awesome. Or Should we take bite two. first or drink first? I would drink oh, first. I would also. Okay. Yeah. You would well, always drink first. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our cookie. Our macron. Careful about Oh, good. Ooh, that is a good shandy. Ooh, that is, that good is shandy. delicious. Mm, that pairs very well with that macron. Mm. You hear so much about milk and cookies. Why don't they just give kids like beer? Beer. Yeah. This is yeah. so much Some better. table beer. I'm, I'm sure they do in Europe. So. Oh, yeah. They do. Well, plus, you know, you're mixing it it's with It's called Kinder lemonade, Beer in Germany. So. It's kind of basically this. Mm. <laughs> you know, half <laughs> lemonade. It's not half. It's still Germany. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> it's like three quarters beer. <laughs> no, that's true. So tell us a little bit more about this beer. If we are cutting it in half, then what is it right now? Like a four point something? Joel? Sure. I didn't look at the percentage. I just read. The- well, I was just curious. So if we were, if it was say a four point something, if we were diluting it by half, then you would really only be having like a two point something. You dilute it with the lemonade, right? So you take it from four down to two. But you have to factor in the alcohol in the lemonade. 
Is there alcohol in the lemonade? <laughs> There's no. Oh, I was like, wow. It's like straight alcohol. It's, it's <laughs> Mike's, like... Mike's hard lemonade. <laughs> Well, no, because you could do that. Well, there's so many of those like the vodkas that are like a flavored like lemonade vodka or like cotton candy or you know, whipped cream. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just saying those are flavors. I'm not saying those are like my favorite vodkas or anything. Question. Mm-hmm. Were Oreos based on macrons? Ma- ma- macaron. Macron. Um, huh. I don't know. They originated without a filling. Oh, really? And it's rumored that Catherine de' Medici only agreed to marry Henry VIII if she could be allowed to bring her Italian pastry chefs with her. And I guess he allowed it. And the rest was history. <laughs> if I only had a pastry chef to follow me around. <laughs> you would be rolling around all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be rolling around. At lunch, eating some pastries. <laughs> it's a croissant. <laughs> I was going to call into question if that, that's like, just bread, basically. But it's a and pastry. butter. And a lot of butter. What are you saying? Yeah. If you were followed by a pastry chef? A corona. A corona. No. <laughs> Do we really really want to call a croissant a pastry? Yeah, it's light yes. and flaky. Eh. Yeah, like you. Pastries need <laughs> to be sweeter, I think, but okay. Wait, are, like you. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Is a biscuit pastry? Why okay. would a biscuit be a pastry? Well, I'm, we're setting ground rules right now. What kind of biscuit? If it's if your answer is no, just say no. No. Okay. I agree. Is a cookie pastry? Yes. All of it. Ah, see, I'm seeing some dissents over here. If you were going into a pastry shop, what would you include on the menu? Do you sell breads also, or is it mostly? That's see, that's a bakery. Well, but I'm asking pastries, where the breads, cookies, cakes, pastries, mm-hmm. or are cookies and cakes part of pastries i think for a storefront i think <laughs> yes just because it's sweet yeah. yeah it's all encompassing well, what about kolaches kolaches are a pastry so going back to this do we have some information on the beer it is from wrench as so, we know so it'll wrench your nuts or, or it won't i really love the lemon of the cookie paired with the lemon of the shandy That's i'm right. glad it's not too much it's not too sweet we talk about session beers this is a session cookie pairing. Sure. Nice. When I eat cookies, I normally only have six or so, and, <laughs> yeah. you know, reasonable amount of serving size cookies. I feel like you could have multiple of these with a beer and just this lemonade would probably go down so smooth. The only thing I'm thinking is like, this is really sweet. Mm-hmm. So yeah. This like, is probably do you think you sweetest. could do three beers in of these shandies? Oh, yeah. You know, I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so... Wait until summer. You'll definitely yeah. Die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. I thought it might be dangerous if you're mixing this with uh, with beer and uh, you could easily just be snacking on it, like, all day. Yeah. <laughs> or go into a diet. You say that coma. like it's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, for the shandy... It's actually not a shandy. This no. pairing? It's a Rattler. It's a Rattler. Rattler. What's do I... I just keep saying shandy? Yeah, you do. And you will. Okay. Let's clarify. What's I don't know. The difference. Joel. Hey, Joel. Um, oh, so Joel found us the this. difference. The real difference is that a shandy is going to be a British drink and um, the Rattler is going to be a German drink. Is it the name for the same thing, though? And that's the other difference that um, supposedly um, the thing that they mixed with, um, well, in Germany, let's see, what did they say? Is it the well, beer that's that the it's thing. mixed so, with? In Germany, the rumor is that they actually mixed it with lemonade because th- this uh, bartender had uh, a route that was on a, a cyclist path, mm-hmm. and he tried to have it end at his bar to try to get people <laughs> there. This is like in the 20s. And so he um, had a, all these people at the bar, and he had a huge supply of lemonade that he just couldn't sell because no one's going to drink lemonade at a bar. So in order to cap off basically beers, he started mixing beer with lemonade and people loved it. So that's kind of the rumor where it started was in Germany. Really? Um, and then when you move to um, Britain, it's more about mixing it with like carbonated sodas. Are you saying the guy who created it moved to Britain or just the uh, trend? Moved the style? The trend. Okay. Yeah. So they, they, that's more of a rumor of what they think it was in mm-hmm. the cyclist story in Germany. And then in Britain was more of a modern take on it of like carbonated so, so it would be more carbonated a shandy over a rattler yeah that's well they also did lemonade too sense. so it was like they did lemonade soda and oh, then okay. other stuff other sweet like soda type mm. drinks yeah over in germany they have like lemonade and cola and it's called like mezzy mix i think it's disgusting but um, <laughs> that does not sound like it would work um but yeah rattlers are always like on the germany is huge in cycling the race Mm-hmm. And Radler, that's what's served everywhere. 
So, so if you're recycling, it's light enough that it's not really going to impair you. Yes. It's like the German Michelob Ultra. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Except with a lot more cowboy. <laughs> yeah, way more. Yeah, I could see that. So, okay. So if the Rattler is a German variety and the Shandy is a British version, then Leinenkugel would be closer That's to... A shandy it is a Shandy. So that would be... Wait, a German that... name, but the British style? But that, it tastes like lemonade and beer. It does. Yeah. So really, it's probably a rat. I think we're also overlooking something, the type of beer you make. Oh, true. Because we just mix true. a German beer with lemonade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm sure if you did something a little bit lighter and it was a British beer with lemonade, you could call it well, a shandy. If you mix like red ales, Newcastle. Boddington's yeah, Newcastle, Newcastle Bodding Brown Ale. Yeah. If you mix that with something like soda or something mm -hmm. like that, then you're talking shandy, I guess. Okay. Right? And then for us, this is a Rattler. And so this is paired with Wrench's Hefeweizen. Uh, the little brother to the Weizenbach from our first episode. So typically when you go to a bar, a Hefeweizen has orange peel. Yeah. It, it could be orange or lemon. Usually uh, some, 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 some sort of citrus. Like it's meant to be paired with a citrus. Not a lime. It livens up you know, the taste. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen a lime. That'd be interesting. Some to bars see. do that. That's yeah, really. Oh, oh yeah. Corona. So okay, so we've covered Germany and we've covered England, but I feel like France is smack dab in the middle. Do they have lime. a comparable? Yeah, they're just like oh, I'm just going to drink. Juice. Well, like in Italy, don't they do like some some sort of soda and wine mixture sometimes? They'll do like a spritzer. Yeah, I have seen the spritzers. They're all delicious. I celebrate all of them. Germany, <laughs> Germany does too. They have they have a shola, which is white or red wine with sparkling water. It's good to order those when you're on a wine walk or a culinary walk. They call it a culinary walk, but there's really no food. <laughs> you are misled, it sounds yes, like. Yes. <laughs> so Fun kind of time. Walk. What kind of it's... walk is your kind of walk, Russ? Donut walk. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome if that does that exist somewhere. <laughs> It does now. It does chocolate now. Chocolate tours. Yeah. I have heard of chocolate tours in Seattle. Chicago has some. Does it? It was Ooh. good. Cheesesteak walk. A lot of chocolate, yeah. though. It gets really heavy after a while. Well, I'm just thinking a cheesesteak walk. Like, how much cheesesteak would be too You get much? one, and then you just kind of sit there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you walk from your car. Yeah. To and then you have to walk You go get yourself yeah. a you cheesesteak, and then you just kind of sit and eat it. Yeah. yeah. If we're talking about mixing flavors with... Uh, what about flavored vodka? Is that like the Russian version of this? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. You pour some flavored vodka into some snow and then... The, the first the first flavored vodka I ever had was a Stoli. And it was mixed with lemonade, actually. Mm, was it? Stoli blueberry. How was it? It was delicious. Blueberry vodka? Blueberry vodka. Oh, that actually does sound pretty good. Speaking so of what... mixing just berries in general, berry wise from Lion Kugels, Shandy. Mix those. Two. Oh, Wow. You just op you just blew my mind. Yeah. Well, you just I'm gonna be doing that. You just opened up my mind. What if you put this on ice cream? Like that sounds amazing. And then you have the little macaron next to it. Oh my god! You got the texture. You got the cold. You got the alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> So, but what about the American version, the Brass Ooh. Monkey? Is that Brass Monkey? Stuff on Orange monkey? juice in, oh. in any beer that you want. I've yeah. never heard of that. Yeah. Actually, what the Beastie Boys were singing about was a canned drink with orange juice, vodka, and rum. In a can? Really? Yeah. And it was like a commercial product? Yes. Really? Uh, never knew that. But in a liner notes for their anthology, Mike D said that they would enjoy that in cups with lemon popsicles. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Uh, people knew. Ross. Ross knew. <laughs> yeah, Ross knew. Ross knew for sure. Ross knew. Were the lemon popsicles actually sh shandy, but like frozen I on a pop? No, I think it was just, I think it was just a lemonade. So where would you say that this lemon macron goes on like your scale of popularity? Is it kind of the most popular? So like a, just a straight lemon? Because mm -hmm. this is lemon and pineapple, right? And, and ginger. And see, I don't taste the ginger yeah, as much. Yeah, it but the ginger. Light. Yeah, it's usually like right at the end. So maybe mm. the beer is... Okay. I got another first bite. So one of the things that we typically do is we talk about what our drink profiles are. Like what do you normally like to drink? Yeah. This is, I'd say, a lot lighter than what most of us would normally drink. I like a lot of porters. I'm down with this anytime. Yeah. No, no, I'm definitely down with it, but I'm just saying comparing, would you pick a Shandy if you go out somewhere? Oh, yeah. Sure. Really? During the summer with my sister and her husband or at Chance's place, 
They always have line and kugel. And really? I'll drink that all day. But the point I was trying to make is we have wait, like... Wait, wait. You're trying to make a point? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we have our normal drink profiles. Oh, right. Do you guys have a typical cookie profile that you go for? Because I know Ross All of them. Ross had only recently... Chocolate and pecan. <laughs> chocolate chocolate and chip pecan. pecan. Well, but I just want to say, Ross, you had only had macarons for the first time. Was it last year? These are the first that I've ever had that somebody else has made. Exactly. Mm. Ever. You had them at... Um... La Patisserie. Mm. Also, oh, yeah, Chance's like... Wedding. He had them on the breakfast buffet? On the cookie dessert thing. Oh. He had, donuts. Dessert he had donuts. This is like a, a softer cookie. Like it, was, it was pretty go good. for soft cookies? Or are you more of like the crunchy? Like, no, soft. soft. Like Tiff's treats. Soft and chewy? Tiff's Constantly treats. Yeah, soft. soft. Yeah. Are, yeah. I don't know how they get them so soft. Yeah, soft cookie. Well, it's it's a, typically it's where I go. I'm not going to turn down a crunchy cookie. I'm not going to turn down a stale cookie. Cutter's not going to turn down a cookie. <laughs> or a beer. <laughs> <laughs> so these are very soft. Are there hard versions of macarons there shouldn't be okay yeah um, that's what i was I yeah no I've because there's one. a lot of air it, right it should it's be, be light and fluffy. Yes. yeah gotcha like little pillows in your or <laughs> or you could say yes and call them oreos true yes i have it's had some where i've i've went into a shop and it was just the end of the day and they were out and no they fault were, of they whoever made stale. them a little stale, a little stale. So if you ever go into a shop, just get there early. And... <laughs> but the real question, you still ate them, right? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> they I, were so um, bad. They were pretty hard. They were pretty hard. And that's why I speak, just soak them in milk for a little bit. Just... Yeah. Or beer. Or beer. Or beer. Yeah. 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 I've got a new, new cookie thing. I'm going to dip in No, no, babe, trust me. Just, this works. I'll do it. Uh, don't, don't tempt Cutter. We got to save him from himself. You know? Yeah, because everything tempts him. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Cutter. What's going on, Ross? Have you ever heard of Canada? I have not heard of Canada. Well, that's not surprising with it being all tucked away down there and all. But, you know, they call it the Great White North or America's Hat or Old Whitey. Oh, yeah? In Canada, they consume more Kraft macaroni and cheese than any other country. And they put ketchup on it. It's called Kraft Dinner there. Anyway. We- we got to step up our game, American. Yes. Step it up. And also, it's the official home of Santa Claus and many craft beer podcasts. Anyway, it seems like a cool place to me. Canada, where roaming gangs aren't a big problem anymore. <laughs> oh, and uh, now we have to do it in French. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coupier. Hey, Ross. Et vous voulez entendre parler du Canada? No. We're one beer in. One Macron. Macron in. So we just sold Canada. Well, they they paid us in Canadian dollars, though, so it's not as much. All right, we ready for the next beer in Macron? Let's do it. So this is a blackberry balsamic. Ooh. I know, fancy. This is actually one of my favorites, personally. Ooh, it smells nice. I, that hit it, me It also. does smell <laughs> nice. So, Cutter, what does Weiss mean? That means wheat. It is? I saw Nine. It. White. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I was like, I think that's wrong. That was a toss-up. <laughs> I thought it was German for a whale's vagina. Oh, yeah. It's a common yeah. mistake. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right. Hey, shut up. I got notes here oh. that I worked really that's, hard on. That's an awesome segue. <laughs> hey, hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Let me do this. Are we drinking these in the can or the cup? Whatever you want, man. It's up to you. We're not in Germany. It's a free country. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> All right. So we are drinking Rosebud by Independence Brewing Company. Independence Brewing Company was started in 2004 by Amy and Rod Cartwright. Uh, it is located south of 71 in East Austin on Todd Lane. The Rosebud is a Berliner Weiss. It's a bitter units is 15. So not very bitter. Uh, it is a 4.5% beer. And interestingly enough, they had a uh, food pairing suggestion on their website. They recommend salty, oily, and starchy foods, fermented or pickled foods, rich braised meats, smoked meats, and cheeses, or salmon. (laughs) 
<laughs> one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> sounds, sounds like they uh, they recommend German food. <laughs> yeah, and salmon. <laughs> could you have this on a cheesesteak walk? <laughs> you could have this on a cheesesteak walk. I, I imagine. Hey, but these uh, these cookies are kind of salmon colored. So they are. There you go. Hey. I think we're doing a good thing here. Now I might be blanking, but when they say oily foods, what would they? What would be an example oh, of an oily well, food? Well, the whole first description of salty, oily, and starchy foods. I'm like French fries. Oh, okay. Yeah. Potatoes in general. Yeah. Eat French fries and drink this beer. Huh. Have a good day. Okay. It's a Berliner Weiss. It's a cloudy sour, uh, typically around 3%. So we are a full half, uh, 50% higher than what the average for this type of beer is at 4.5. You're saying so typically it's around 3, but they just happen to make their higher alcohol content. You got it. It was started around the 16th century. It became really popular in the 19th century. Um, and just for our Houston fans, St. Arnold has a Berliner Weiss called Boiler Room. Saint Have Arnold you guys tried that? Has so many beers. So I've I know I've had their lawnmower. Ugh. It, it, it's, it's got, got like grass. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can understand having a strange beer, but maybe a strange beer that doesn't taste like grass. Yeah. Also, I hate fresh cut grass, so so that doesn't. So matter. it's like you're. You've just mown the lawn and you have grass clippings in your mouth. Yeah, and that's and that you're beer, gonna cool off with your lawnmower. Beer okay. mixed together, and that's what you're tasting. Okay, so it tastes like a hard day's work or a couple of hours. Yeah, work. It feels like a hard day's work drinking it. So, Definitely. why did we pick Red Bud as our Berliner? Because it's local uh, and local. interesting. Well, okay, but have we tried anything else by this brewery before? Uh, you you guys have oh, probably had Convict, Convict Hill. I, okay, I, I led with that. Okay, and what was the flavor again? Oh, of yes, the we should try this. Blackberry balsamic. Ooh. The, the sourness of this, the balsamics are really complement that well, I think. I feel like... It's only recently that I remember having um, balsamics pear just as a flavoring, but I have been impressed by everything I've had like balsamics pear with. Like when it started having it in like salads, like growing up, we never had that as a salad dressing. It just wasn't an option. Yeah. But now, yeah, you know, yeah. balsamic, that's <laughs> one of the top ones you're going to pick. And there's so many varieties of balsamic with different things mixed into it. Yeah, we, uh, we did a food. Oh, we took a cooking class in Italy in Florence and they took us through a little food shop and we tasted balsamic vinegar and it we had it aged like what we buy in the stores aged like three years mm -hmm. and then we ended up buying a bottle that was aged 10 years it was delicious like a, like a vintage just a bottle spoonful of it so there is a place in Austin called Conolio and they do those like Wait. aged Cornholio <laughs> the great Cornholio um no but they do these amazing pairings where it's like a balsamic and chili pepper or balsamic and coffee mm -hmm. and it's almost like a microbrew scene where they have these incredible varietals where it's like wow this is what's in season right now we're gonna play around with it and it's just incredible this and it usually incredible. freaks people out when i say there's balsamic vinegar in there they're like what yeah i mean it's really not too no, it like, just I'm sure they're it. expecting like something really strong and it's like salad dressing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this salad totally doesn't. Well, <laughs> there's vinegar in a number of sweet, mm -hmm. sweet pastries. So. It really just adds a depth to it and it cuts the sweetness because, I mean, all these are basically like little sugar bombs. Mm -hmm. So anything that I can cut the sweetness with, I personally like. So you're like the macarons, mm -hmm. but you don't like sweetness. <laughs> Not. It's so super you don't sweet. Eat the product, right? Is that <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I know. What yeah. is it they say? You got to eat the dog food? <laughs> Who says that? Tony. It's don't, <laughs> it's don't do your own supply, man. Come on. That's what we're talking about here. Don't get high on your own mm -hmm. supply, man. Come on. This cookie, especially after the first one, like I liked the first one, and now this is a completely different thing. Yeah. Like you said, there's a depth to it. Mm -hmm. There's a sweetness, and then just a little. You, well, you don't really taste it, but there's, there's just a little hint of it. Yeah. And that beer pairs with it very, very nicely. It's, I don't know. I feel like it's it's not as sweet as the first pairing. Um, would you say this is definitely not as sweet? Is this more alcohol than the other one? I guess it would be. Yeah. yeah, yeah because you cut it with yeah. lemonade. Yeah. Would you cut this with anything else or just have it straight as like the Berliner? You could probably pour this into, what do you think, Cutter? You could probably mix 
You could put more wheat into it if you wanted to, like a, I mean, almost anything. No, I'm okay with no more wheat in this. Well, I just happen to have some. <laughs> We're about to find out what that tastes like. He is, happens to have straight wheat. What about, what about raisins? <laughs> You know how I stand on raisins, Clint. Nature's yeah. fruit. I stand, I stand nature's, fruit. nature's fruit. I nature's fruit. Yeah. Have you... Wait, I, you get references, right? Cutter? No. <laughs> what references? I, I have a memory of goldfish. <laughs> like the, the ones you eat, not like the ones you eat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Unless you eat those too. I'm sure the ones from the pet store? <laughs> yeah. That's gotcha. it. Mean, sushi, right? Yeah. Isn't that pretty much what sushi is? Ah! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to some nicer sushi places, Cutter. <laughs> I like to eat my sushi extra fresh, so I just go to the pet store. Oh, 10 cents a piece? Why aren't more people doing this? Idiot. It's <laughs> like happy hour all the time. So I got some news on the wheat front. <laughs> that sounds like you're giving a bad war report right now. <laughs> are, you, are you saying you should have mix, uh, red Did, and... Uh, uh, wrench Hefeweizen? Hefeweizen? Yeah, so did it not did. wrench your nuts? No, I think it did, and that's the problem. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's wrenching something. Um, now, when I poured it, it diluted the strength of the Hefeweizen. And Nobody likes that. It just tastes like Hefeweizen. Huh? Ah. So it so really diluted the, st the strength of the, the strength. Berliner Weiss. No, it, it, well, completely, yeah. It, it also diluted the Hefeweizen. The Hef has a stronger flavor. Mm -hmm. that's right. Okay. So you're trying to enjoy your Berliner Weiss, yeah. and you threw a wrench in it. Yeah. The Berliner Weiss is like Berlin, and then the Hef is like the Soviets. It's, it's not history. It's not how history works. Do you think they have cookies in Russia that they pair with their vodka? Yes. Their, their vodka? <laughs> Hmm. They're probably not. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> we, I'm going to start an international incident. I was going to say, we do have a very growing well, Russian demographic. So. Uh, well, we don't have anybody yeah. in Russia yet. Yes. We don't have any Russians yet. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, they could be on a VPN and it's coming up as unknown. Slovakia, though. We got two downloads. Two downloads out of Slovakia. Yes, we are nice. the number one American craft beer <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Focusing on local hockey. <laughs> in Slovakia. In Slovakia. Sweet. All right. Congratulations. Yeah, right. We're number one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so do they have a specific drink that they prefer in Slovakia, do we think? Would that be a wine? Would that be more of a spirit? Everybody loves like a, wine. Like a grog. I'd say it, it's really in the center of beer country there. Let's bing it. Hey, hey, do you guys think that Bing is just some guy sitting at home Googling stuff as fast as he can? Well, they, yes. Yes, that's exactly he's just what trying. He's just trying to do his best. It's like Chandler Bing. He's really <laughs> only got one person who uses it. It's, it's really just me. <laughs> and they're like, Tony's looking up. I won't even finish that <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah, I won't even finish that joke. We're eating here. Yeah. <laughs> so I like this this one. better the second time I've had it. The uh, first time was a little rough for me to get through. Just as a beer? Yeah. It is really? Yep. Yep. Pretty it's much tart. Uh, it's much more button. tart than the first one. I, I, I like this beer quite a bit. Differently. I'm going to say differently. I'm going to say it's better. Actually, I like, I like the it's actually not quite sour enough for me. Really? Yeah. I forgot you're sour. I am right now, too. Come on, man. It's pretty sour. Hey, it's pretty hey, sour. Connor. I hate you. You know what? It actually almost tastes like the one that sour that we did mixed with uh, the friends and enemies, foes? Friends and allies? Yeah. Friends oh, and allies. Yeah. Friends yeah. and wolves. You know how that weird dry aftertaste? Mm -hmm. It was like a, what do you call it? What's what soda? Like when you go to a bar and they just put like dry soda. Seltzer? Yeah, just, yeah, it tastes oh. like that. Oh. Club, yeah. soda. Club soda. Yeah, but with like a sourness. That's what I think. It's you know, I don't really taste Brandon an aftertaste with this beer. Um, you're saying you do taste I an aftertaste? at the same time. Huh. Let me yeah, try. there's a real strong sour taste, but then like the liquidy yeah. taste of it seems very... Yeah, Friends and Allies really had... It, there's, there's a little sour compliment to it, yeah. I would say maybe that was like the hoppiness mixed with it had a little, what, like tropical fruits... In it, like clove and bananas, and yeah, yeah, those, those, those uh, clove and bananas. There's that dibbles you, you, you get, It's because he's drinking it with the uh, the wise and black, a little bit of clove and bananas in there. So, what's really interesting <laughs> is clove and banana. <laughs> you mean the half wise and the beer here 
I feel like it is sour, but it doesn't have as much flavor as the cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a nice compliment, though. Like, I keep going back to the macaron to balance out the taste of the beer. You just dip it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll just do it. Like, soak it up. <laughs> have another wood. Or you're, you're really going to do it? I'm just going to have it. For science. It's I think for you should science. put it in there and just let it soak it all up. I don't oh, know. I don't it would be why. like I slushy. All, <laughs> all right, wait, wait. Cutter, pause oh, with your picture. Hold on, cut my hair. Mm -hmm. don't, don't do it like that. That's my look. <laughs> <laughs> don't look like you. That's how I get the <laughs> We want people to follow us. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Oh, well, now I got to try it. Wait a minute. It's oh, Cutter, on, though. On the next one. Cutter likes on the next one. You got, you got a little bit left. Oh, you don't want to spoil do you, it? Or what? You don't want to risk. Like cookie by itself. Yeah, you don't, don't want to risk. risk ruining. There's more. The yeah. Yeah. Okay, Besides, for it. You, you can't trust Cutter when he says something's good. Because oh, everything. yeah, because he'll he, eat and drink anything. If it was one of you guys, I would have been like, oh, okay. But, like, Cutter, I feel like, and this is not a dig on you. You're hit or miss in your recommendation. <laughs> Actually, that is that, quite, that is totally quite it. Yeah. Some of the stuff you, you come up with, I'm editing and it's just like, God, it's just such, all this bullshit. <laughs> but you say it with such confidence. Well, I'm a good salesman. Well, you're a good salesman the first time. Yeah. Right. But when they come back, it's. No, no. no the first time, I'm usually. Then they're pissed. The oh, okay. That guy sold me a <laughs> cucumber <laughs> gin. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Oh. But you liked it. Speaking of cucumber, there is a cucumber variant of this. Really? Of this? Oh, I th yeah, I, th yeah, I think I've seen that on their yeah, site. The really? So imagine it's this. It's seasonal, bucket. isn't it? I wonder if that would have more of a balanced like flavor. Like cut the sour in it? Yeah. yeah, it'd be a little bit sweeter. That me. actually sounds really a like lot better. I thought it'd be drier. Like, yeah, I feel like it'd be more watered down, so less sour. Maybe. Sure. It's like yeah. spa water. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a good idea. Just yeah, like a hint of cucumber. It's it's like, that's what you're tasting now? How yeah, it almost cucumber? tastes like there's water that has like Why don't a sour thing in it. Cat knitting. Small beer. How much cucumber would you put in there? Would it be like more it like a shake? It a shake? Would it be like... A smoothie? A beer smoothie? <laughs> yes. No, stop. Hey, I'm just getting excited. That means you should... <laughs> <laughs> it's like two yeah, we don't want to deal with that. YB? Is it YB? BY? TCBY. Yeah. TCBY. It stands for something, Joel. <laughs> the country's best yogurt. Couldn't bring it back. So if we can create a time machine and go back 25 years. Well, well, uh, we have the wrench. Hot, hot tub time machine? No. <laughs> Sorry. Hot tub time machine. Only two. the second one. Yeah, two. <laughs> Wait, was the second one better than the first one? No, the, the no. first one was better. Adam Scott did not add much. But uh, they had to keep reshooting. It was still fine. It was, but the was first it? one, yeah. Was it? Yes, it was fine. The first one had something special about it, which, or it, it, I wasn't expecting it to be good at all. Well, I feel like and it was pretty good. Seriously, the, the and they were having fun making them. I could see that. The bar was really low for hot tub time. Yes. And then you go see the second one and you're like, yeah, this is crap. Yeah. Well, but. It's like, there's the first that one. To say Snakes on a Plane, where they had a very low bar, that one did not clear the very low <laughs> bar. <laughs> so, but to elaborate on Cutter's actual movie standards, Oh, no. we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, like, we're gonna do this. He, yeah, the whole fifth element <laughs> is Wait. Going oh, we'll, we'll get an outside. We'll get an outside. A lot of people oh, yeah. are really, yeah. we actually really brought love you on the podcast the fifth for this. Yeah. This is why you're really here. so. What you're saying? I consider the fifth element to be a Fine. good movie. <laughs> Cutter, on the other hand, considers it to be the best movie. No, he doesn't oh. think it's a good movie. He thinks he's I like enjoy. it was entertaining, but it's not a good movie. <laughs> I yeah. agree, Sarah. So <laughs> I agree with Cutter. Anybody else want to negotiate? Oh, yes. But yes. The, my ride that I brought along, <laughs> he loves it. Ah, this is bullshit. <laughs> so I would say it's not the best movie, but it's entertaining. I like it. I'm a Luc Besson fan. So almost anything except Lucy that he's done. Yeah. I think I like but, Lucy better. Uh, no. I'm not a Scarlett Johansson Sorry. fan. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so her, I've not seen Lucy, so I can't back you up. I've only seen this. It, isn't it on Netflix? Yeah, no, no, I've too. never seen Lucy. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's the one Scarlett where she's Johansson, like, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Is her, she an assassin or something? No, she's just a regular person, but something happens yeah. and her brain starts processing even faster gotcha. and faster. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was in French in high school, we watched uh, Home Alone in French. So instead of Home Alone, it was Mama, I Miss the Plane. No. Uh, that's very descriptive. Spoiler yeah. alert. Yeah, spoiler <laughs> alert. Well, I guess both are very descriptive, but Mama, I Miss the Plane 
tells you a little bit more, I think, maybe. Why is the kid I mean, there? Mama, I missed it. Uh, um, but he didn't, instead of just being home alone. He missed the yeah. ride to the airport. Yeah. Which, yeah. in turn, he, he missed the plane. plane. But he never even made it to the airport to try to get to the See, plane. but nowadays, they could have just, oh, we're just going to send an Uber for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> the sec- the movie second over. One. The second one could have been, I missed the plane. Yes, because he was he got on the wrong plane. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Way to ruin everything yeah. in French. You know, Ghostbusters in Fr- Ghostbusters 2 in France was translated to Your Mother Has a Hairy Back. <laughs> but not Ghostbusters <laughs> 1. Oh, no. <laughs> it was just Ghostbusters. There's that 2 that threw it off. <laughs> Mama, I miss the ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw this week that Macaulay Culkin has a podcast now. Oh, does he? Oh, really? Yeah. What's the topic? Um, he's looking better these days yeah it's him another uh, guy with his bunny ha- uh, ears on it's kind of goofy I, I don't remember the subject it's an under comedy so i'm just sure they're just joking around i don't think they have guests yet okay with like three podcasts in they're like a top 10 podcast on well on yeah the because they there's it's macaulay culkin well, he did have that french movie mama i missed it yeah he did really big in the 90s hey, <laughs> you know what was his best movie party monster mm. i fun. really enjoyed that. i thought he was really i've after. seen yeah I've seen the documentary of the actual guy. The one where Matthew Broderick is like friends with a monkey or something. No, <laughs> this is Project X, <laughs> the original Project X. Well, maybe not. I don't know. There might have been a previous podcast reference. Maybe if you listen. Yeah, you Tony. or remember oh, what you said yeah. at the time. Yeah, I gotta remember what I said. <laughs> I do not remember that at all. I watched, you guys are staring at me it. like I should remember that. I watched so. it while I was editing and. It's not that great anymore. <laughs> you watched I, the Matthew Broderick movie? Wait, what? I wait, do you remember would that not now. Wa- you I would not watch that. a Matthew Broderick movie? Is that what you're saying? I've only seen bits and pieces of Ferris Bueller. Come on. Oh. Sorry, you've seen more than you're, you're, you're discredited. Whoa. No, that's not true because we know you get that Deadpool reference. So yeah. don't you lie to us again. Cutter gets references. That's where that was from. Okay. So earlier we were talking about snakes on a plane. Clint. Wait, I, were we? <laughs> I, I think you just want to uh, talk about snakes on a plane. We'll put it in an edit. <laughs> so, uh, Clint recently took a flight. Don't so, tell people about my personal business. Tony. Well, no, I was just going to say, when you were out of our great state of Texas, did you have any great beers? Did you have any local beers? Did you? No, they did couldn't you, have been great because I they mean, weren't Texas great, beers. Texas. Did you tap the Rockies? I did have some Coors Light. Mm. I did. Um, but no, I did have a Hefeweizen at uh, Dylan Dam Brewery Pub in Silverthorne. Well, I guess it's technically in Dylan, but Silverthorne area. Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. Dylan? <laughs> he spits hot fire. Anyway. Um, I don't think I I've heard not. of that brewery. Is that just super local? No, it's not, it's not an actual brewery. It's, a, uh, it's one of those places that has like, it's a restaurant and brewery. right. Oh, so okay. like BJ's, yeah. Except uh, or North by Northwest. You know the interesting thing about like BJ's. There was also a place in Houston. Uh, wasn't called BJ's. Finnegan's. But like all the beer, all the <laughs> beer flavors the that BJ's had. <laughs> yeah, the had same the one. Exact same one. So I'm not buying that BJ's actually has any sort of brewery. Oh, I'm pretty sure no, they don't. Wait. Yeah. I, I, I think they lied to us. Yeah, the one at the Arbor Walk, I don't think has any well, sort there's of... There's nothing, no like, brewing yeah. at all going on. And, isn't it like called Brew House or something? Yeah, it, yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's, one of, that's one of the things, that's one of their big things, they have all these beers. But it's the like, same, like, all the, the, the names were different, but the, yeah. all the options were exactly the same as this other place from Houston. I, that's when I realized that I was being lied. What, what, what was the place in Houston, you don't remember? It's too long ago. Oh. I feel like I'm being lied to because I thought you said it was something interesting. Oh. <laughs> that happens hey, a lot. Cutter, can you get some ice? <laughs> Boom, roasted. Yeah. So I did go to Great Divide when I was in Colorado, and I really liked that. I haven't been to many breweries. That, I, I did go to some in Boulder, and they had a really cool craft beer scene up there. Yeah, college sounds really seem to have more of a craft brew sort of thing going on. But no Macron's there. Mm, I'm yeah. sure you can find them. Yeah. They're around. But I mean, if you can find them in Texas, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Admittedly, I spend a lot of my time explaining what they are. <laughs> well, I would imagine. I mean, especially the people in Colleen. Nutty. I'd say in a military Almonds. area, you have people who have right. served over have been. Right. Yeah. So they know. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. They're the my the locals in Colleen. Come on. Oh, don't, don't knock Colleen. It's... Oh, I just did. 
<laughs> what are you going to do, Colleen? <laughs> hey, Cutter. Hey, Russ. You've heard of our sponsor, Canada, right? I, I have now. Well, you know, in Canada, they don't say, I love you. It, they say? Instead, they say, I'm going to Timmy's. Do you want anything? <laughs> that says love to me. I think that's just beautiful. Canada, now Celine Dion free. Uh, <laughs> nice. Wait, I thought she moved back up there. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. They could be infested she sold again. She tried to sell a house last year. I don't know if she ever is, sold Is there it. any segment with Celine Dion? Is <laughs> Where <laughs> in the world is yeah. Celine Dion? <laughs> it works. So, Interestingly, we need uh, to get Rockapella on here. I won't say interestingly because I guess nothing is very <laughs> interesting. But uh, I actually told Amy some of her music was too Celine Dion yeah. for me. How did she take that? She's like, "Well, I like Celine." Uh, <laughs> uh, now you got to move. She, just, just wait till she is a award-winning, <laughs> record-breaking. Oh, I understand. Or, I don't know if you'd say musician, artist, artist. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I think her heart will go on. The movie. So I like it. I don't have to like Celine. Dion. Where's Luke Perry? Uh, he's on Riverdale. I hate that I know that. Uh, stay out of Riverdale. Oh. <laughs> I I just meant in the fifth element, in the rest of the fifth element, <laughs> after the first five minutes. Wait, he was in there. Yes, he opened. Okay, up good. The in the in the past. Hey everyone, we kind of got on a roll here, and instead of a really really long episode. We're going to make this a two-part episode. Sorry for the cliffhanger. Hey, but you know what didn't end in a cliffhanger? The movie Cliffhanger. Be sure to check out Maison de Macrons. Visit the website maison-de-macrons.squarespace.com and like Maison de Macrons on Facebook at facebook.com slash making macrons. Also check out our new site, threebeersinthepodcast.com. We have our episodes on there and some show notes. We're also super excited about having shirts and other merchandise on the site. We've got all kinds of shirts, hoodies, totes, shower curtains, and a whole lot of other stuff. So check all that out. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thanks for sticking around. If you liked what you heard, leave us a review. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Podbean, Google Play, and TuneIn. You can find us on our Facebook or Twitter at 3, the number 3, Beers in Podcast. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. And if you didn't like us, why the hell are you still here? You should have turned this off long ago. Maybe you're just going to listen to us anyway. You should probably subscribe too. And if you would like a transcript of our podcast, write down everything that we just said. I'm going to go home and sleep with my wife.